one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about was how to overcome the maths anxiety because, as I say, if you can't overcome it, you're on a hiding to nothing. It's going to be really difficult to teach the children if they're that anxious about maths. And often maths is stressful because often schools will say you have to get the answer right, you have to do it in your head and you have to do it quickly and you have to do it in front of all your peers. These are very, very stressful things for children to do. I would say to you, if you teach your children nothing else, teach them how to estimate and they hate it. It. They hate estimating because it's just another thing they have to do, but it's such an important skill. Just try to get them to learn how to round things, and children don't like to round. They round too accurately. They don't think of rounding to a thousand or ten thousand. They'll round to ten when they don't need to. So try and get them to estimate. So this kind of thing can really help. Um, thinking about what calculations they're going to do. Can they do it in their head? What's the method? And then to check the other thing they don't like to do. Because once they've got the answer, they've got the answer. And you say, can you check it? Oh, no, I don't think so. so. Because this is also quite important as well. And in terms of your times tables, I think this can really help. And the way that I introduce this idea of key facts is to look at our money system. And I'll say to the children, why do we have a 1p, 2p, 5p, and 10p? Why don't we have a 3p? We don't need it, do we? Why don't we need it? We can make it, yeah. Now, if you then apply that to your multiplication tables, surely we only need to know the 1 times, 2 times, 5 times, and 10 times, because we can work everything else out from those tables. Now, I'm not saying that's what we need to do, but for a child who's massively anxious about learning their tables, if you say the ones, the twos, the fives and tens, they're the important ones. They're the easy ones to learn as well. If you don't know your three times table, take your one times seven and your two times seven, add them together and you've got three times seven. So it helps the children to have a strategy for those tables that they really struggle with. And with the emphasis now on the government and tables, it can really help reduce their anxiety. What tends to go on when we're learning maths is a lot of this. And actually, we need all three of these elements if we're going to understand a mathematical idea. And they need to have equal weight. But a lot of the time in school, because of the pressures of getting through SATs and whatever, the procedures are taught, but not the underlying concepts and not enough mathematical language. And the more we can talk maths, the more we can understand maths. And rather than just looking at word problems and taking the maths out of the word problem, can we give them the numbers and they create the word problem? So if I said to you, come up with a word story for five and four is nine, what could that story be? So maybe you've got five people, and typically on the bus, and four people get on the bus. How many people are on the bus altogether? But it's making the children use that mathematical language. All too often we give them the word problem and they just do the maths. It needs to go the other way as well. I also do a lot of training for Singapore maths, and I wouldn't do it if I didn't believe in it because I'm quite keen that maths is taught in a really effective way. Um, but the results speak for themselves. So the, the, the um, company in the UK that does a lot of it is called Maths No Problem. Some of your schools might already be using it. There's another company that does an app, and actually it does four apps for the iPad, and they're free at the moment, yay. And that teaches the children how to use the Singapore bar model. Uh, they use little strips of paper to represent numbers or they draw rectangles to represent numbers. It makes these word problems so accessible. You can see the maths, it leaps off the page at you. And it's one of the reasons why Singapore is so successful because they have such an emphasis on visualizing the maths and seeing what the problem is all about. It's incredibly powerful. So if you do have children who are struggling with maths, the bar model is definitely the way to go.